constipation is actually a symptom rather than a disease. Generally defined as when bowel movements occur three or fewer times a week that are difficult to pass. According to the Rome 4 criteria for constipation, a patient must have experienced at least two of the following symptoms over the preceding six months. Fewer than three spontaneous bowel movements per week. Straining for more than 25% of defecation attempts. Lumpy or hard stools for at least 25% of defecation attempts. Sensation of anal or rectal obstruction or blockage for at least 25% of defecation attempts. Sensation of incomplete defecation for at least 25% of defecation attempts. Manual maneuvering required to defecate for at least 25% of defecation attempts. There are many causes for constipation. General ones include low fiber diet and immobility. Metabolic and endocrine causes are diabetes, hypothyroidism, and porphyria. Certain drugs can also cause constipation, including opiates, calcium channel blockers, antidepressants, iron, and antimuscarinic agents. Neurological causes of constipation include spinal cord lesions and Parkinson's disease. Psychological causes of constipation are depression, anorexia nervosa, and repressed urge to defecate. Any gastrointestinal disease can cause constipation. Common ones include intestinal obstruction, colon cancer, anal fissures, and diverticular disease. Defecatory diseases of constipation are rectal prolapse and large rectocell. In order to treat constipation, first, any underlying disease should be treated. In addition, increasing the fiber content of the diet and increasing fluid intake will help soften the stools and propel them more easily through the digestive tract. In some cases, laxatives may also be needed.